y'all. I'm Mimi, aka the Pisces here, and this is one of your daily collective readings, okay? Like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. It is greatly loved and appreciated. God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascendant, Masters, all beings of light only, you welcome into this reading. Please give the Pisces here collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time. Okay. So we got Wild Roses. That looks plenty. This is hungry work. And the thinking man. Okay. Let me see. It is upside down. No, it's not. It just is. Okay. Hold on. I'm looking at this <laughs> number right here. <laughs> Um, the spirit's real random today. They was like, yeah, let's just do this. No masters or kings. Uh, let me see. 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 Did I say I'm on the right city music you might hear in this video? I do not. So Wild Roses said your wild energy is taking hold. You are true. You truly are blooming where you are planted and you look amazing. Okay. The rose symbolizes love, beauty, and protection. It is often referred to <laughs> as the symbol of the Virgin Mary. Now add in the little wild energy and you have a tiger by the tail. Wild Rose represents positive energy you cannot control coupled with vulnerability. A wild rose blooms where its seeds land, okay? The environment may not be ideal, but the plant dares to thrive and be beautiful at the same time. This, my dear, is the essence of the intuitive life. The vulnerable rose petals, the vibrant colors, and the imposing thorns combine in infinite divine wisdom to form a flowering plant that survives and thrives in unlikely environments, okay? So you meant to, um, you know, thrive in unlikely environments. It says, with this card, your your guides congratulate you on surviving some tough circumstances to become a beautiful wild rose. It is all right. Um, it is all right to allow your wild energy to be in full bloom. When it is in right balance, it serves an important purpose. Wild energy is about explosive life force, and it can be a boredom for others. You are flowering right now. You are full of creativity, unpredictable feminine energy, okay? You are a divine wild rose, and your angels applaud you. Ooh. So y'all getting like, like, yes, bravo, bravo. <laughs> Keep it going, <laughs> okay? We're on the road. Uh, so it says um, that the thinking man is male of wisdom, male of wisdom or understanding. Okay. It says this card shows a man standing before an archway, gazing at a crystal in his hand. He is in a thoughtful and reflective. Oh, he's a thoughtful and reflective man representing the potential presence of a teacher in your life now or about to arrive soon. OK, this person may be there to educate you in the finer details of your chosen direction or may be there to assist you in some specific spiritual, mental or emotional pursuits. Um, the card is telling you to pay attention for this could lead to great strides in personal or professional growth. This man may also be a love interest coming your way or perhaps just a new male friend. Uh, but be on the lookout for this. Hold on. Be on the lookout for this guide in the physical world and be open to his information. Learn what you can. A new discipline, technique, course of study or healing practice could change your life forever. Mm, OK, so I'm hearing um, don't be don't be closed off to um, new people that you're meeting. OK, somebody going to come help you enhance your personal property. OK, look at this door to romance. Um yeah, but I mean, if you're a guy, it's probably just, you know, could be a friend, you know. 
could be an angel. <laughs> okay. Whatever it is, it's going to be, you know, um, something that's going to bring very positive energies in. Okay. So don't, don't be anxious. Okay. Just trust in your angels. Okay. You're protected for sure by angels. Um, shit's about to kick into action real, real, real soon. Okay. Look, angel of strength contract journey. So you are definitely supposed to be on this journey that you're on, you know, you just have to be like open to the things that spirit's bringing to your attention, you know, and to the people too. Um, it says that you could have gone through some temporary financial hardships. Okay. With five of pentacles, but you're not, I don't know. It says stalemate. This is the two of swords. Okay. You know, which is being like, Kind of torn between two ideas of thinking, in my opinion. No, nope, no. Nope. Or, oh, it says torn between two relationships, which is the kind of the same as being torn between two ideas of thinking, right? Because they're never like exactly the same if you're messing with two different people. Um, it says divided loyalty. So maybe you could have um, some sort of decision to make. You could be with someone and you met someone new or... I don't know. It says death, though. <laughs> so there's some sort of new beginning coming to you. You know, you could even be going through some sort of um, spiritual transformation that's causing you to let go of things. And sometimes that includes a person, you know, or a routine that you could have been stuck in for a while. You know, you could be someone who's waking up and just realizing that, you know, um, you know, you want to live a different type of way. You want or you could have done this already, okay? I'm really getting, like, past energy from this, okay? Because, you know, your cup overflows. Uh, maybe stay out of your head so much, too. Look, the sun again, okay? <laughs> the sun again. You're so resilient, okay? Like, you've been through this shit. This is definitely past energy, okay? <laughs> you are so amazing and wonderful and resilient. Just like those wild roses look totally emotionally intelligent with this King of Cups. You know, you're a leader. Okay. Um, you've already gone through your endings and defeats, you know, and now you've learned to just, you not, not only to have boundaries, you know, but to, you know, take a leap of faith when it's needed. And that's why you're going to see this 10 of Pentacles period. Like, Ooh, and I seen the high priestess. Okay. So your energy is great. <laughs> it really is. You have a great energy going on right now. So it's about to it's about to pour out if it hasn't already started. I mean, I feel like it already started trickling down. Look, ready, steady, go. It's a go for you, <laughs> whatever it is. But spirit saying, make sure that you're sure of you're sure of foot and steady of heart. You know, make sure that you're only going you know, pursuing things that are good for you. Um, don't, don't slide back into, um, the old routine of things, you know, like if spirit has you to cut something out, don't think like, Oh, okay. You know, well, if I just do this thing a little bit, you know, then no, 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 no. It's okay. It says look twice, leap once. Okay. It says you're not from around here. Are you okay? That is like the star seed card in this deck. Okay. You're not from around here. We all know that. Look, but it says we all begin somewhere. But doesn't it look like, it looks like she's kind of like, oh, that's a dragon on her shoulder. Okay. That's a dragon on her shoulder. I was going to say, like she part ghost and all that. It says control at all costs and vengeance will be mine. So vengeance, God will get the vengeance on whoever was trying to control you and do things to you. Okay. But I know that, you know, that it says do the right thing. Even when no one's watching, that's what you do. You know, you're the kind of person who's always doing the right thing, even when no one's watching and spirit loves the way that you're bright and fearless, even when you're going through dark times, like that's another thing that's going to have you like, you know, that has you spiritually and physically abundant. <laughs> like, even if you don't think you are, let me in, said the spider to the fly, okay? So you can have people trying to, like, come back in, you know? Even if they're not, you know, making themselves known to you. Because you let it all burn. It's like they couldn't tell you shit if they tried. You was like, nope, I'll, ch I'll take exploring beyond the veil over, you know, all of these weird kind of connections and shit that I have going on right now. 
And I think that spirit's ready to bring you in this love now that will that has the potential to elevate you. Or if you're a guy, you know, you could be, you know, getting ready to take this love into someone who doesn't know that that they need you. You know, you could be getting ready, you know, <laughs> you could want to go hook up with somebody and elevate them, you know, show them what you could bring to their business. It says ask for help, okay? <laughs> um, it says angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say, now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. Like, you should be talking to your angels about anything that you want and need, okay? Anything you want and need, okay? You just ask, okay? It says friendship. Fairies and humans. I'm trying to sound because it's distracting me. Okay, it says fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. It says divination. Um, it says embrace your powers of divination, which are, I was like divination. <laughs> Express your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity, okay? So like I said, you could do whatever it is that you can accomplish anything right now, okay? Um, tree wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers throughout the sounds it makes. You might want to listen to like some of that flute ancestral music on YouTube. Okay. It's really relaxing. I like, I like, um, like the, the old native American ones. It says, but I don't feel like they all, they sound that different, you know? Listen to some drum music, some flute music, you know, the music of your ancestors. Um, if you know, like, round about where your ancestors are from, eat foods of that area, you know, like if you have Mediterranean ancestors, eat that food. If you have Italian ancestors, eat that food, okay? Um, I told y'all, spirit told me um, <laughs> that my body does not like digesting American food. <laughs> Okay, it says protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. I don't know, which is really giving me like, don't tell anybody your ideas, whatever you're working on, you know, just do it. <laughs> just do whatever it is you're going to do, you know. This says wait for winter. During the colder months, the fairy queen of winter, I bit my lip a little bit. Excuse me. The very queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. So I feel like either last winter or this coming up winter is going to be like a big thing. I know it sounds like winter is far away because it just ended right, but it's really not like <laughs> time is not a real thing. Okay. Don't forget that. Okay. It says it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown, yet this is where the greatest rewards are, okay? It's time to step boldly forward without looking back, okay? So that's what they ask for you to do, to just continue going on on your path. And then when that person comes, like, like be open to somebody new coming around, okay? It says a thinking man, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a man, but I know that that man is holding a crystal, <laughs> which means he got to he or she has to possess some sort of enlightenment, okay? Look, like stargazing. Maybe they're watching you. They want to help you. They want to give you some sort of upgrade in some type of way. I don't know, but it did say love, so let's not fight it. <laughs> it says when you gaze at the stars, you give yourself very focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation, okay? So spirit just gives <laughs> Spirit gives me personally things a little bit at a time, okay? So they could be doing the same thing with you. You know, they don't always want you to know everything. Sometimes they just want you to completely focus on shining from within, and, you know, and then they'll give you, you know, when you do these things for so long, you know, it, it's like there's all sorts of like tests and initiations and things that you're doing, you know, different levels of your ascension that you're going through, you know, you have to get all the way up to, you know, this 
oh, it's so hard to explain, man. I watched a good ass video though about like the real Santa Claus. You know what I mean? You should look that up on YouTube. It was about Santa Claus and, you know, how there's this part of the brain that kind of sounds like the name Santa Claus. And like, it would make sense that that's where that saying is from. Okay. But anyways, I digress. It says, looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within. It's time for you to shine. Okay. This is a time for self-acceptance and for um, revealing your true beauty. So, yeah. Just look within right now. Keep focusing on what it is you're doing, okay? Avoid any temptations that might try to smack you off this path. It says, are you in denial about an unhealthy habit, perhaps one that makes you feel guilty? The fairy says, you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever it's guys. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see, what is this? Light. The fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness, okay? Believe in magic if you want to see some, okay? It says, open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern light says you are a part of nature, so you're magical too. Like, you're a very, very magical being, so just have trust, okay, in spirit. I feel like this is about to be hella short. What is this? This is the money stone. Um, forgiveness, inclusion, regeneration of hope, unity, and the higher self, soul retrieval, regeneration, and metonia. Mm, it says the original Manny believed himself to be an incarnation of the of the divine, okay? That's, oh, well, an incarnation. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Um, the paraclete or divine comforter, he dedicated his life to attempting to unite all the world's religions through mutual understanding and compassion. He believed that darkness was not to be overcome through struggle, but to be infiltrated with light until it was no longer darkness. The religion known as a uh, mechanism or Manichaeism, I think it says, <laughs> was named after him. No, really? Okay, so it says, um, the stone encourages uh, forgiveness, inclusion, and the regeneration of hope. All of us need to make practice for forgiveness for our own benefits as well as that of others. When we hold judgment against someone, it primarily oneself, oh, it's primarily oneself who suffers. Further, holding a grudge or judgment causes a fragmentation of union between beings on the soul level, um, engendering spiritual disharmony. On the individual level, self-judgment brings about inner fragmentation, a sort of low-level mental illness experienced to some degree by most people, working with Manny Stone with the intention of forgiveness of self and others can dissolve all these complexities and negative attachments. I don't know. You could be having an issue with that, judging yourself, questioning yourself a little bit. Um, it says, the affirmation says, I choose forgiveness and healing of myself and others as I walk the path toward reunion with the divine. Okay. This next one says, is the manifest light crystal. I didn't even show y'all what the Manny stone looks like, or Mani. It looks like this. And then this is the manifest light crystal. Okay, it looks like this. Um, its keywords are kundalini awakening, stimulation of inner light, awakening the light body, manifestation of one's intentions. Uh, to show you what you need to live. It says it's ideal for, <laughs> I didn't even realize what I just said, to show you what you need to live. It's the time of the season for loving, okay? That's what Spirit said, okay? When I attuned to the crystals and asked more deeply about their nature, I heard the phrase, we are manifest light, okay? 
that made me smile because I remembered that in the Crystal Ally cards, my something, something, something. Anyways, okay. Um, it says initiating the light body activation and keeping the light body anchored and integrated with the physical body. Their capacity for triggering a safe and subtle activation of Kundalini energies means that they are our ideal for initiating new levels of spiritual growth and for enhancing one's health and well-being well -being by bathing the interior of the physical body with pure spiritual light. The versatility of energetic expression of these stones are capable means that they can help to ground those whose upper chakra, chakras are overactive. So your upper chakras could be a little overactive, okay? Some of you could have, some of you could be having like a hard time sleeping, okay? I've been having a little bit of a hard time getting to sleep, okay? Spirit last night was like, okay, <laughs> if somebody posted like, um symptoms of a spiritual awakening. Okay. And spirit was like, yeah, that's your issue. Okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, just go with it. Um, the other night I was like tossing and turning and shit. And then I got up. Okay. I fell asleep for a second. I got up, I wrote down a dream. Okay. Cause I had a dream real quick. And then I laid back down and I still couldn't sleep. And I was like, is there more? <laughs> so I got it. I got my little notebook. Okay. And I wrote, a couple of messages for y'all in it. And then all of a sudden I was sleep like a fucking baby. Okay. So sometimes spirit will have you up because they want you to do something. Or sometimes, you know, your chakras are just overactive. I even drank some lavender tea last night. Okay. That really helped me. That really did help me to fall asleep. Okay. Some lavender and blueberry tea is what I was drinking. But I really love like the just lavender tea. That shit good. It says, I welcome the current, this is the affirmation. <laughs> the affirmation says, I welcome the currents of Kundalini into my body and I direct them in their most beneficial paths, okay? A natural light, visionary experience, quantum leap to higher consciousness, brain evolution, ET connections, okay? I think that's some stuff that you're about to get to experiencing. This is what it looks like. These are crystals that actually help with these types of things, you know. Some of them are, are kind of rare, but some of them, you know, are easily available. That's why I showed them to you, so you can look them up if you're interested. Fire away, fire away. Um, this says... Um, that natural light's energy moves beyond the confines of the physical body, activating one's conscious link with the eight through 14 chakras above the head. These chakras are aligned with one's higher bodies, the astral and causal, um, as well as the higher self, of which one is usually unconscious, a part of the leap of evolution which human beings are on the threshold of making concerns becoming conscious of these higher bodies and using the loving intention, the will of the heart to become active in these realms while still remaining in the physical world. These are the levels of reality in which the random yet meaningful events of synchronicity are set in motion. And learning to navigate within them is a huge leap into higher consciousness. Hmm. Yet it is what we are called here to do. Natural light helps open the inner gateways to these realms for one's exploration and enlightenment. Okay. So the affirmation for that stone is I cooperate fully in the activation of my brain slash mind to its highest capacities and I move rapidly into higher and expanded awareness. So that's what you guys are doing. You're moving rapidly into higher realms of, you know, understanding and consciousness and that's why spirit was saying, you know, believe in magic, be open to it. You know, um, they will always send people to help you. I don't care, you know, what form they come in, you know, they will send you, you know, a random person at the store just to say one sentence and it'll, that'll click your whole shit. Like, Oh man, that is fact. That's true. lady. <laughs> you know, so 
Hold on, I'm writing down the title. I don't know. I'll probably change that. <laughs> Let me see. Anything else, Spirit? Is there anything else that you want to say? It says self worth, value, self esteem, confidence. Be empowered by valuing yourself. Okay. The more you value yourself and you have goals and you have standards and you have boundaries, that is the more you let Spirit know. Look, that's how you attract blessings. Okay. It says protection, attention, love. Your guides are always with you, okay? They're always with you. They see everything that you do, even when you think no one is watching, okay? It says forgive, control, regret. I feel like we should just throw those back, okay? But if you need to forgive someone, okay, forgive them. Release the need to um, control. And don't be stuck in regret about anything, you know? Go out and enjoy the community if you can. Go have some fun, you know? Do some traveling away from your community if you can. Or maybe you're about to do some traveling soon, okay? But I'm really, really getting... Somebody's about to get a friend, you know? I did say that there was love coming, but somebody might be attracting, you know, just like a good friend, like a good homeboy or a homegirl, you know? <laughs> um, it says, understand who you truly are. This journey brings self-discovery. Stuck. You're never stuck, okay? It says, block third party silence barrier. Shift your focus to clear the energy. Yeah, you're never stuck, you know? Um, you just There's just a need for you to switch around your energy if you are feeling stuck at any point, you know, and to call back your energy, okay, and not to be doing too much, giving too much of your energy in all of these different directions, you know, always make sure you call back your energy and really embrace divine timing, okay? It's so important. Like, spirit don't do nothing before you're a vibrational match for it, you know? And it's like, just think about your life, you know, and all the times just right when you thought you were totally fucked. Here came God doing what God do, saving you and hooking you up and helping you, okay? Here came your higher self, too, with all of these solutions and ideas. All of a sudden, look, <laughs> all of a sudden you got the receiving messages and receiving solutions, you know, and you have to just like, you have to just let that that type of energy in again in order to, you know, elevate. It's funny that you have to go, you have to kind of go backwards in your life, you know, and heal all those little things before you can go into the higher realm. So that's something for somebody. <laughs> I think we're done though. Look, yes. The answer to your question is yes. Okay. Somebody asked you a question. The answer to your damn question is yes. Okay. Yes, baby. Yes, yes, yes. You will get, okay, whatever it is that you ask spirit for. So don't trip. And also it might help to write down things that you want to manifest. Okay. Write things down. Even if it's things you want to release, write it down and burn it and talk to spirit while you burn that shit and tell them, I wish to release this. I do not write that down. I, w I wish to release, you know, all energies, situations, and people of the past that I have learned my lesson from and that are no longer serving me. You know, I release them with love and happiness and light, you know, and blessings. And then you burn that paper and you will see like such amazing things happen, you know, but sometimes you have to do something physically in order to feel like you did something, but it's just like, you know, the human body construct. And that's kind of what spirit's trying to break you out of, okay? They will have you do some magic shit and then have it work, okay? Because you can do it, okay? It will have it work. And then that in itself is, you know, kind of like a nudge in your consciousness, okay? So spirit doesn't do anything for no reason. And with that, I'm done. They got me just rambling. I think I'm only due two today. Like, I'm feeling hella chill. I'm gonna make me something to eat. <laughs> I'm always ready to eat. I don't eat before I record, okay? So that's why I'm always like, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm ready to eat. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make some brownies, okay? I haven't had no brownies in a minute. I'm gonna make some brookies. <laughs> Uh, all right. <laughs> now that I've I've rambled and danced to brownies about it, okay. I will see y'all later. I hope you have a fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day, and that you got something out of this because it felt like a big old jumble of information to me. All right. See you later. Bye.